Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. The UK's Prime Minister, Liz Truss, has resigned. She took the top job just six weeks ago, making her the shortest serving PM in the country's history. So what happened? Here's Joe. It's official, the lettuce wins. Don't worry, I'll explain that in a minute. You see, the past 24 hours have been a roller coaster in UK politics. As Prime Minister Liz Truss went from... I am a fighter and not a quitter. ..to... I am resigning as leader of the Conservative Party. Yeah. It was only 45 days ago that she was being sworn in to the top job. She replaced Boris Johnson, who resigned after a big scandal where he was caught hosting parties during COVID lockdowns. But things soon went south when Truss announced a mini-budget which would have involved cutting taxes, especially for the rich, and putting the country into more debt. It didn't go down well. The financial market went into meltdown, and Truss copped a lot of criticism. One newspaper started a live stream of a head of lettuce, betting that it would last longer than Truss's leadership. And they were right. Earlier this week, she ditched her economic plan, but the damage was done. Well, what a mess. It's doing huge damage to our economy and to the reputation of our country. It makes you wonder whether you should vote Conservative again. The big question now is, who's in charge? Well, Conservatives have to choose a replacement. This guy, Rishi Sunak, is a popular contender. Although some reckon this guy might try and make a comeback. And some reckon they should just let the lettuce have the job. I think that's a joke. Just when you thought it couldn't get any wetter, the Bureau of Meteorology says there's more rain on the way. Ugh. They've predicted thunderstorms for Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria, which of course is bad news for communities already dealing with floods. There's a little bit of good news though. The Murray River is expected to peak on Tuesday instead of the weekend, giving people at Echuca and Moama a little longer to prepare. In Tasmania, bumblebees are wearing backpacks. Not as a fashion statement, but as part of a research project looking into how they're affecting our natural environment. Here's Amelia with The Buzz. Have you ever seen a bumblebee? No, oh, no, that's a regular bee. This is a bumblebee. And if you've seen one, you're probably from Tassie, the only state where they're found. They somehow made their way there from overseas in the 1990s. And since then, well... They've been here for 30 years, but we've really lost track of what they're doing and how far they're spreading. Like all bees, bumblebees are good at spreading pollen and helping plants grow. But there are worries they could be taking nectar from native species. So researchers in Tassie have come up with a clever way to see what they're up to. Teeny tiny bee backpacks. Or tracking devices really, but backpacks sounds like way cuter. Our bees are quite cold tolerant. What we do is we catch them on the flower, put them in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes until they're nice and cold and not moving. And then just simply with a bit of soup, super glue that we buy from soup, uh, any shop, we attach the transponder onto her back. The tracker slots into the glued pack, so it can be taken out and put back without hurting the bees, leaving them to go about their beesness. <laughs> These next stories are all fast, so let's get through them fast. <laughs> this is Dexter, a 10-year-old UTV racer from South Australia, and he's just taken out a world title at the UTV World Championship in the US. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi! That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> it makes Dexter the first ever young Aussie, or international racer for that matter, to win the prestigious title. Oh, oh look! It's Daniel Ricciardo on a horse, riding into the US Grand Prix pit lane. Yep, it's a bit of a switch up from his usual seat, but he seems to be enjoying it. And finally, floppy disks aren't really known for their speed, but these old-fashioned data storage devices are flying fast off the shelf, according to a guy who sells them in California. They're still being used by a lot of industries, including aviation. Yeah, apparently they're still used on some older model aircraft. <laughs> who knew? That's all from us today. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday.